Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over seven different ways to generate ideas regardless of what genre you write in. This is also going to be regardless of what format. So you can write in short stories, novels, even screenplays or sketches. Whatever you write in, this is going to help you out. So if you're looking for ways to generate ideas or just looking for new storytelling strategies, this is going to be the video for you. Number five and number seven are my favorites. So make sure you stick around for those. The first one we're going to be going over is called flip the premise and how it basically works is you take a well-known story and you make the antagonist become the hero in your story. You're going to want to give the antagonist sympathetic qualities. That way we can kind of understand when they make a downturn or turn towards evil. You see a lot of examples like this nowadays with Maleficent and things like the Star Wars saga that focuses on Anakin becoming Darth Vader. But there's a lot of ideas that haven't been done yet. For instance, imagine if we go 40, 50 years before the events of Aladdin, what would it look like when a young Jafar is just trying to scrap and scrape to get by? Maybe if we followed that character, we could kind of see his downward trajectory to becoming the villain that we know now. At the core of this idea of flipping the premise, we're basically going to try to understand what it takes for a good person to become bad. On this channel, we cover all things storytelling, whether screenwriting, writing novels, or short stories. I try to give tangible advice that you can use right away to improve your writing. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. Okay, so for our next way to come up with story ideas, you're gonna take a story that you already like, it could be iconic, it could be lesser known, and you're just gonna transport that story into a different genre. You could also do a gender swap. The example I gave in one of my videos was about how if you take Finding Nemo, story of a father seeking, the story of a father looking for his child after that child's been abducted, well, that's the same general story that isn't taken. But you would never think of Taken and Finding Nemo as having the same story structures. This type of thing exists in all genres across all levels of storytelling. The third way we're going to generate ideas is by asking what if. This is as simple as it sounds. You're basically going to take an idea or a concept and you're just going to add what if. And let your mind just kind of run however it goes. When I was putting this video together, I asked myself what if referring to Beauty and the Beast. And I came up with what if Belle was a beast or a werewolf? What would that story look like and how would it pan out? What if a person woke up from a coma and they were in the zombie apocalypse? Walking Dead right there. By asking what if and answering it, you'll definitely have a story idea. For our next strategy, we're gonna be talking about the idea of the first to do something or the last to do something. This can be a person, but it also could be a place. For instance, the last city on earth. You can do something like the last person alive, which is basically the plot of I Am Legend. There's a movie coming out about the last blockbuster. The Martian is a story about the first person to successfully land on Mars. What do those stories look like? For the fifth strategy, I'm gonna be talking about something that I like to do when I write stories, and that's start with the theme first. Essentially, all you're gonna do is start with a personal truth, something that's true to you. It can be something very deep at your core, or it could be something like, oh, I believe I live on so-and-so street. Now, you're gonna take that truth and make it the trajectory for your character. Meaning, you'll start your character believing the opposite of that truth. That will be the misbelief. The story will be about how this character comes to believe in the original truth that you started with. For instance, if we take that idea of, oh, I believe I live on so-and-so street, we can have a story about a character who believes they live in a fantasy land or believes they live somewhere else. And through the course of the story, they come to see the truth of where they really are. In a similar way, this example kind of is like the matrix. If you choose to take a virtue as the universal truth, maybe something like 
people have value, you can see you would start with a person who believes the opposite of that, that people don't have value. And throughout the story, a series of events will occur that makes them come to that makes them come to the understanding that people do have value. This is a story of Groundhog's Day. Of all the strategies on this list, this one is probably the one that requires the most thinking. But I guarantee that if you follow it, you will come up with a rich story idea. Okay, the next strategy is very well known, and it's this meets that. You're basically going to take what's shiny to you about two different ideas, and you're going to blend them together to make something new. And like all these story strategies, there are no wrong answers. So just take two ideas that you think could fit fairly well together, but are generally separated. For example, maybe you can do Frozen meets John Wick. What would it look like if an ice queen went on a vengeful rampage because someone melted her sidekick? You could also do a version of Knives Out, but at Hogwarts. What would it look like if a sorcerer was killed and a bunch of wizards were trapped in one location trying to figure out who did it? It's going to differ from Knives Out or Clue because you have the element of magic. So it will become a whole different story. We have one more strategy to talk about, but if you're curious about next steps, I have a video on Preptober where I go over different ways that you can flesh out story ideas. You can check it out after this. Okay, so for our last strategy, we have what I call the cool factor. All you have to do is think of any concept or idea and just add in something that you think is cool. Then you're gonna wanna amplify that thing and add conflict. That will give you a unique story. A great example of this is the movie Army of the Dead. If you've seen this movie, you know that it is essentially just a bank heist movie, but in the zombie apocalypse. Another example of what's cool is taking an idea and simply saying in space. So what would it look like if you had Home Alone in space? Taking a concept and just adding something cool to it is definitely going to make something very unique. I hope this info was helpful. If you want more storytelling strategies, click the video on screen that makes the most sense to you.